Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Today we are going to talk about the fifth house. Fifth house which signifies about the children. Okay. And fifth house is also said to be the Purva Janma Doshas. Okay. What you sow, you reap. That means, what you have done in the previous life, that in turn will come to you back in the form of children. Don't think that children are only for the bad, even for the good. Poor virgin madoshas, you need children for clearing your poor virgin madoshas. Why? Because whatever you have done in the previous lives or whatever is pending by you for the cleansing of your soul that has to be performed by a child by a male issue or by a child to that need that's why fifth house signifies about children this is one point the second point is why God gives us children? Why God gives us a wife? God gives us a wife and a child because of two things. A wife comes to our family just to help us in the day-to-day -day affairs to see that you can reach your goal and also she will give birth to a child who in turn will be your lineage after you he is going to catch out of your karmas just like we have balances in the bank that balances can be withdrawn by the children if it is a loan balance the children will be paying it back if it is a credit balance the children will divide among how many number of them are there they will divide among themselves just like a bank balance is given to the children here also according to the karmic actions fifth house which is previous life karmas that in turn will be carried over to the children and they will be clearing it okay that is the main reason God gives the children to the native. It may be a male or a female. When God gives us children, we bring them up. We take care of them. Finally, when we are dead, it is they who do the final rites for us. That means a body when perishes, the last rite is done by the children. When they do the last final rites, it not only goes to you. Usually it is in three formats. One for you, one for your parents, one for your father and one for your grandfather. But in a child it will be for you and for your father. That trinal is everywhere. You take about 27 stars. When it is divided among the nine planets, it is trinal. So likewise, a child birth is important for a native to cleanse his karmas, to bring down his karmas. This is the beauty of astrology. And that's why when this fifth house indicates or signifies about the previous life's karmas that is linked with the childbirth. Okay? So this is the main history or theory what I have noted in my research part. And that's why children are important. Okay? Fine. How do you get about the children? How do you see about the children, about the welfare of the children 
about the development of the children, about the sickness of the children in a child. There may be one child, there may be two children, there may be five children in a family. How it happens, all these things can be got from the fifth house. Okay. Fine. Fifth house is good for signifying the children. If at all there is no planets in the fifth house, what will be the next? The fifth house aspect. Who all aspects the fifth house? What all the planets aspect the fifth house? That will tell us about the number of children. Okay, if there are four planets aspecting the fifth house, you can also see if it is a 7th house site, 7th house will become from Jupiter, the 5th house is Aries here. And the 7th house aspecting place of different planets will be here. So how many planets are there in 7th house from the 5th house? That aspect towards the 5th house will tell us the number of children. Okay? Fine. If at all there is nobody placed in the 7th house from 5th house. Okay. Nobody is aspecting. Not a single planet is aspecting 5th house. Then what will be the case? Yes. When nobody is aspecting the 5th house. We take the placement of the 5th house lord. Fine. So, wherever the Lord of 5th house is placed and which are the planets which is aspecting the 5th house Lord, those are the children. This is one thing. Second thing, if at all in the 5th house, in the 5th house from Jupiter in a natal chart, it may be male or female, if at all there is a moon, there. I told you, moon is a foreign body. And after that, not only fifth house placement by moon, after that, in addition to that placement of moon in the fifth house, if the fifth house lord is not getting any aspect, if the fifth house is not aspected by any planet, then in that case, definitely, the native will be having adoption or will be going for an adoption. Okay? So, this is what we get from the fifth house. Fine. Fifth house is not only the important thing. There is one more portion here. Fifth house, if it has to give you the results, the native's sexual organ must be fit to carry the baby. Or if it is a male, for the for producing, reproducing. Where that can be known? That can be known from the Sign Libra. As I said, in my parts of the body and the different signs, Libra comes to the placement of sexual organ. Libra will speak about sexual organ. If at all a malefic is placed in that section, in Libra, in any chart, there will be problems in conceiving. This is one thing you can note. See, I'll tell you again. If you have fifth house lords, well paid placement, or a benefic aspect towards the fifth house, a child is guaranteed. But in some cases, with all these combinations, you will have delay in childbirth. Those things happen because the fifth libra the sexual organ will be having problems. 
in, in male chart or a female chart. Okay? Even that we are going to study today. If at all, what planet sits at Libra? What will be the outcome? That is one important thing to note. And as usual, fifth house aspect, fifth house large placement, and the planets aspect in the fifth house. Okay? These are the things which are important for us to note about the significations of fifth house. And that fifth house will give us everything about the children. This is one major point. The second point goes like this. <clears throat> if there are two children, what are you going to do? You have to look at the first fifth house and at the ninth house like traditional astrology, Vedic astrology. But in Nadi, but in Nadi, what all the planets aspect, their placement and from their, their poor finance, their families, that can be noted. That will also, I try to explain it. Clear? So let us go with the fifth house. Now in this case, this chart, you take it North Indian or South Indian chart. Here fifth house is vacant. Nobody is there. From Jupiter always, please note this point. From Jupiter always, Jupiter will be aspecting the fifth house. Then that means everybody should have children. No. He aspects it. He gives you. But still how far you are going to take it? I may give you money, I may put money into your account, if at all you got an account. If you don't have an account, or if you don't have a pocket for your shirt or pant, if you don't have a wallet with you, then even the money I, can, I will give you will be lost. And that giving money and that pocket and that bank is Libra. Libra is the only one which tells us how far a person can be able to give birth to a child or to help in the child birth. If it is a male, to help the female. If it is a female, how far she is okay with her sexual organ to carry it, the womb or the sexual organ. Okay? Right. So now here the fifth house is clear, vacant. But there are two planets, Moon and Venus, aspecting the fifth house. Now what you are going to do here? There are two female planets aspecting the fifth house. Are you going to tell them that two female kids are there? You have to check for the fifth house, Lord. I'll come again. Jupiter's fifth house. One, two, three, four, five. No one is there. This fifth house is aspected by Moon and Venus. When Moon and Venus aspect the fifth house, they have to give the native two female kids. Okay? But in this case, this gentleman has one male and one female kid. Clear? Yeah. I will tell you who was first, who was second. Yes. The first was the female and the second kid was the male. How did that happen? At this point, for a double check, now we are going to take into consideration the placement of fifth house large. Fifth house Lord is fifth house from Jupiter in this chart, in this native chart, is in Gemini. Fifth house is Aries, fifth house from Jupiter is Aries, the Lord is Mars, and he is in Gemini. Okay? Now, who is aspecting the fifth house Lord? Jupiter and Saturn. 
Here now it is clear cut. One female and male. Okay. Okay. In that case, how this happened? First is the female and second is the male. How did this happen? I will tell you. Mars, the fifth house lord, is placed in in middle place or enemy's place. Mercury, Mithuna, Gemini is Mercury's house. This is Gemini, this is Mithuna, it is Mercury's house. So Mars will be a little less. His capacity is little less. So when Mars is here, Jupiter is a friend of Mars, fine, very good. Saturn is an enemy. Saturn will strike the fifth of Lord. Saturn shows its power. So female, the girl was the first one. And the next one when it came, it has to touch Jupiter. The first house is Saturn's. When it comes from here, it touches Jupiter, that will be the second gate. This is how we try to know. Okay. We will try this way. The fifth house is aspected by Moon and Venus. Clear? The fifth house is aspected by Moon and Venus. Two children. Okay. Among that one is male. Here we see two female planets. What about this male? Where did that male come from? Yeah. Fifth house lord is Mars. That is aspected by Saturn and Jupiter in one angle. In the second angle. Fifth house lord aspects these both. Okay. Moon. Now moon will become a mother here. It is a female planet. You can give a female child. But now it is playing a mother's role. And fifth house lord when it's aspect. Venus and moon. Definitely it will beat moon. Because moon is the young planet. It cannot take over. Venus, because Venus is in his own house. Clear? I hope this must be clear. Mars in an enemy's house, he is almost half boiled. Okay? He is having a, in his trinal signs, the Mars, fifth house, Lord is having in his trinal signs, Venus and Moon. Mars will definitely, however weak he is, he can strike moon. So, he will take away the one female. Yes, the native had one abortion also. And second one is Venus. He cannot touch Venus because Venus is strong in his own house. He is not in somebody's house. So, one male and one female was the outcome. Fifth house Lord aspected by Jupiter gave him the children. Fifth uh, Jupiter and Saturn aspecting the fifth house Lord gave them two children. One is a female, one is a male. Who is first and who is second? When it comes across, it touches the moon's house is there. After the fifth house Lord travels till the Venus, the second aspect of fifth house, he crosses moon. But he will take away moon because moon is in somebody's house and in devilation, nearby devilation. I don't take devilation to consideration. I say that moon is a young planet. Fast getting, fast moving planet. So it will be moved out fast. Next one is Venus. Naturally the first one will be the Venus. Second, Jupiter comes. So second one was the Jupiter, the male. So either way from a fifth house we can know so many beautiful things only the techniques that's why I call this as techniques of Nadi. Blindly believing in fifth house or fifth house placement that's not the only thing. Now we will come to the important point. 
the sexual organ why it is delayed male or female the sexual organ tells us how far it is okay in producing or reproducing we call it and this is the main reason fifth dose is selected for purva janma karma because unless and until you have done some karmas you will not get a child if you have to get relieved if you have to get liberated if you have to get moksha then only you will have to have children through children only a person can get moksha of course to some people it may be wrong there is one more dimension to look at it moksha is attained by ourselves but unless and until you have to fulfill all the other things for you to fulfill for you to see if you have a girl kanyadan that is one more point to the moksha path and a son for the vamsham or the lineage you should have that because the four fathers will be dying without food if at all he has no son there and after that nobody will be there to do the karmas that is all prithu doshas these are the things which affect us later parts of our life or our children's life so god has placed that fifth those karmas and the fifth those is for the children who are going to wash away the karmas now let us come to the sexual organ part sexual organ i will try to place planets in different in the, in a, different planets in that libra and i will explain it to that way. who all will be affected with what they will be affected because for children we need two things reproductive organs that must be clear okay just blindly you cannot say you are not going to have a child there are reasons that can be traced there also but if we look into this angle also we may be clear enough to suggest them what should they do of course even that reproductive organ going bad is also through to through karma bad karma only but you should catch how many doshas are there sri vaka dosha aradhana dosha guru shapa sarpa shapa sarpa yoga meni pitru dosha sarpa chedana like that if you count there are many ample number of doshas let us forget about doshas we are not into that field our field is only this much <coughs> excuse me so in this field because of the doshas there will be problem in the reproductive organs two things i am going to do today i have just given you the skeleton sketch of how you have to take it okay but what happens if each planet is there in the fifth house and what happens if each planet is there in the Libra, sign Libra, Tula. Okay, that is very important. Unless and until you clear both of these, you will be unable to catch precisely the fault, or you will be unable to rectify the issue. And that's why many a times when somebody does pujas, prayers, they do. They also know how to do. they do in the right format but that is not only sufficient there must be something behind that if at all you can know where exactly these things are coming from then it will be easier for us to remove the virus that's all now let us first take first i'll start with fifth dose and the plants in fifth If at all, fifth house has sun. You can be sure. Ah, uh, fifth house aspect, sun's placement, sun's strength. Kindly note this. If I say fifth house sun, fifth house from Jupiter, a native will have a sun. First will be the sun. Yes, sun is a stronger planet. But placement. If sun is placed in a enemy's house, 
then again the female planet will give a more power or it will be female hamara guru ji said yes it will be a boy but here a girl was born it is not the mistake of that guru ji or the astrologer it is sometimes they overlook that's all okay because everybody is busy and it is a hectic uh, routine work so chances are there why i am telling this sun if at all sun is placed in the fifth house from jupiter in middle of any chart male or female chart that fifth house tells the child will be a powerful personality no matter that fifth house may be any rashi or any sign okay child i didn't say boy i didn't say girl i said child boy or girl it is your job to clarify it according to the way i said earlier okay number of boys that also i'll come to that point first let us handle one thing so when fifth house is having son that child will grow into a popular personality public personality into a important personality that is about son when <clears throat> moon is there in that fifth house you can call it a female child or if at all that moon is there placed well 100% it is a female child i mean 100% it is a female child if that if the fifth house is having moon at the same time libra is having malefic planets then there are chances of the native getting either artificial insemination or child from through adoption child through test tube babies these things are possible that you have to take care okay and if mars is placed in the fifth house that gentleman will be a very good person sports person and he will have a lot of skills and it is a child with more interest in sports or government issues or politics landed property will be accumulated after the birth of this particular child if at all a person has mars in the fifth house the parents will buy land after the birth of this child when mercury is there yes highly academic uh, high highly intelligent and very good in academic studies such a type of a person will take birth i am just dealing with only one planet there rest i left it to you all two planets and the when there is no aspect when there is no planets the lord just like i explained you clear you can just repeatedly watch the videos and learn because it takes a lot of time for me to bring too many examples now mercury intelligent child and he is for the family he will take care of the family that child i'm not telling whether it is male or female that depends on on again for some, about something else so next is venus when venus is there in fifth house if a native has venus after the birth of that child the house growth will be there that means they will make good money after that they will see good things after that they will have good time after that after the birth of that child if saturn is there in the fifth house definitely there will be a delayed child birth and this in this context you have to watch about the libra thula who is there and who is aspecting libra and that will be the cause for the delayed birth of a child saturn if rahu is there in the fifth house yes they will get children but after 
prayers and pujas, a lot of prayers and pujas. Even in this case, you have to check with the libra, the sexual organ, reproductive organs. It may be uterus, it may be sexual organ, it may be seven count, whatever it is. If at all you have Ketu, then finished. These people will be having tough time in getting children. I doubt even through artificial insemination or test tube babies or you can call it as a, um, surrogate mothers. Even that way it will be tough. Because God has destiny, dead, put a destiny there, Ketu, dead end. And because of the Pitru Dosham it is there, because the fifth house Ketu is nothing but Pitru Dosham, 100% Pitru Dosham. Unless and until you clear that, and if at all they bless you, then you will have a child. This is what I have read. Okay? That is what I am conveying it to you. So this is about planets in the fifth house. Now let us go to the sexual organ. When sun is there in Libra, for any may any chart, male or female chart, it gives problems with the sexual organ. The count may be less for the males. Okay. Because of lot of heat, the eggs may not survive or for long. Sun is nothing but heat. Okay. Secondly, if it is a female chart and if sun is placed there. Definitely, there is a problem with the woman regarding the sexual organ. And these people who have sun in the Libra, the females who have sun in Libra, there are chances of them having white discharge problems. I'm sorry, I'm not taking anything, uh, I'm not talking bad. This is what we people have to hunt for, to get a perfect picture. Don't mistake me without I am using all uh, languages. This is a part of a study. It is education. That's all. So, Libra Sun in a female chart will create problems, will give her health problems and that health problem will be white discharge, flow of white discharge from the age of pu puberty. Uh, this white discharge, what it is going to do next? The husband will be okay. He will be fit, healthy, rock. But still, when a woman has white discharge and the union of this particular husband and wife will definitely bring, bring problems in the man. You can observe, you can ask if they are free enough to talk to you, you will know. Because I was talking to so many foreign people, I gathered this information. They, were, they, they don't think that sex is a taboo. So, I was utterly enlightened with certain angles. Okay, this is about sun. Moon. If at all, moon is there in a male chart. It is early ejaculation. And it will have, it will be, the semen will be watery, less count. You can try, you can ask anybody, you can even go to a doctor and get some cases and try to tally it. This is what I have seen. If at all the same moon is in a female chart, there is trouble. Libra having moon in the female chart, there will be menstrual problems. The periodic intervals will be fast. And that's why the conceiving part of it will become a problem. Okay? Let us leave that out. We'll come back to Mars. When Mars is placed in Libra, in a male chart, that is good. It will give them all the strength and it will just he will have chances of getting a child now in these cases we have to check with the wife if the wife's chart has the female chart has Mars 
they will have trouble in having bed pressures and that is the reason the child uh, what called reproduction point or uh, giving birth to a child will become problem there is one more reason behind it i cannot discuss it over videos if anybody has mass in their uh, libra they can call me and i let them know that is not a hard task but let me not put it here clear okay mars is over mercury if mercury is placed in the libra sign libra in any chart male or female chart for a male it gives them <laughs> very less interest in sexual practice and for a female they are also it will not give them much interest but that is the main that is not a cause for not getting the children i am just narrating it when a planet sits in that place what will be the result what will be their sexual practices because this has to be noted for child bearing okay forget about that venus yes venus is one more planet like sun when venus is there in libra it will give that particular white discharge disease to a woman and for a man again count is less saturn if saturn sits there yes there is a problem in the uterus if rahu is in libra saturn for a male again problems with the count rahu in libra dryness there will be problem in the sexual yoni or the organ and there will also the eggs part of it or is what you call it that will be very fast in getting away okay and if it is in the chart of a male rahu in chart of a male dryness count is less or dryness ketu when ketu stands there again what is such problem and if it is in a male case it is again he has to go to the doctor this is how we narrate with the sexual organ and the fifth house these two are important as far as my knowledge goes so i leave it to you all to come to one conclusion but this is what i have been following what i have been handling and what i have been telling people okay i think i have done with the fifth house so once again i'll try to i like to repeat it fifth house is for children fifth house placement whoever is there in the fifth house or whichever the planets are aspecting the fifth house they are the number of children if nobody is there in the fifth house no planet is aspecting the fifth house the fifth house lords placement uh, the fifth house lords aspect who all which all the planets which aspect the fifth house lord that is it and whether to know who is the first whether the girl or the boy it you have to use your intuition and study how far the fifth house lord is strong where is the fifth house lord is placed and who is going to attack and who is going to spare okay ah uh, there is no more thing some people have twins how will you how will you know about twins yes we can know about the twins from the chart itself i tell you how. when the fifth house is gemini if jupiter is placed in aquarius the fifth house will become gemini 11th house is aquarius if jupiter is there in aquarius the fifth house will become gemini Gemini is a twin sign. Hundred percent in that lineage, somebody would have had twins. And here, that twins is possible or not depends upon the placement of that lord, the strength of that lord. This is one thing. Second, if Jupiter is there in Taurus, the fifth house becomes Virgo. If at all, 
Fifthos is Virgo. Dear Ojo, you have a chances of having twins. Next. If you are Scorpio born, Pisces, Pisces, whatever you call it, mean. If you are, if Jupiter is there in Scorpio, if Pisces is the fifth house, even in that case it is twins. Or in that lineage you will have twins. Or twins will take birth and one may die and one may survive. Anything is possible. This is what I have been observing. This is what today I am giving you. So, till I meet you next time for the sixth house. I think I'll be it. Bye.